hello and welcome in today's video i'll be showing us how to manage um, a library database using microsoft excel there are different um, ways you can manage a library database using excel but in this video i'll just be showing you how you can you know manage the aspects of students coming to the library and coming to borrow textbooks right some students can come to the library probably they read a particular you know academic textbook or journal and they are interested in it some of them may request that the library assistant allow them to borrow the book for some time now how can you manage that using microsoft excel so i've actually prepared a schedule already we have the serial number the student id yes you have to in, in the case where the student is borrowing textbook from the library you have to collect their id right you have to know the student's name and you have to know the student's department right so now the student department we could have accounting maybe the person is from accounting right could have maybe the person is from english maybe the person is from english studies or maybe the student is from the marketing department the student could be from mathematics mathematics department the student could be an economic student economics department the student could be from political science political science department the student could be from the student could be from geography department geography department the student could be from sociology the student could be a law student could be from business from business business administration the student could be from um yoruba department the student could be from mass communication department so yeah look at it the student name you have collected the student um department the book id you know there are some books in library they know you can actually have the books id and the next information you need to collect using excel is that you ask the student what's the title of the book that you borrowed you you write the title here and also who is the author you also write it, the author of the book here if possible you can also write the edition of the book that the student is collecting from the library so this is how you can manage a library database now let me show you where excel comes into play right and then you can also have the borrowed date as at what date is the student requesting to borrow the book from the library and then the next thing is the due date which date did the student specify that he or she is going to return the book you have to also specify that date in your excel sheet all right and the student phone number do you know why you need the student phone number in a case whereby the student as at the due date the due date is the date the student promised you that he will return the book as at the day the student promised to return the book you know he is not here to return it the phone number is there for you to call the student right and the student id you can easily trace the faculty of such student if you are university setting right so now the status could be we can create a simple status and say if the borrowed date is equals to the due date then we can say return date is due the return date is due we can just use it to track that but if it is not yet we can say the return date is not yet due so how do we do that using excel we use a simple function known as the if function where you just say equals to if if open a bracket if borrowed date you tap on the borrowed date is equals to due date you tap on the due date okay if borrowed is equal to due date okay there you say comma you open quotation and you write re, and you write return return date is due return date is due comma if otherwise look at the logical test if borrowed date is equal to due date the return date is due that is the value if it is true now what is the value if it is false if it is false that is if the borrowed date is not equals to the due date then we say not yet not yet due do you understand not yet due so what we are saying is that the borrowed date is equals then you press enter so you see look at this one now the return date is due for this one because 8 of 10 2023 8 of 10 2023 we can see the student is not yet so the return date is due so in that kind of case we'll phone the student we'll call the student on the phone all right so let me 
Um, let me do something to this table. Those of us that are not an Excel user, we may not understand. So I'll come to design. Let me just convert this table to a range. Let me not make it a table. So let me don't bother about all this. Okay. So let me just make this one white. You know, and make this one. And let me just bring it back to the default um, Excel sheet. There's a reason for that. So this is it. This is the this is the, this is the, this is the work now. Okay. So let me delete it again and let me try it again. Okay. So now. This is, the, this is the formula equals to if open the bracket this date all right you tap on it if this date is equals to this date then you say comma that is the borrowed date is equal to the due date then you say what open quotation put quotation then you write return because it's a text return date is due now, if the borrowed date is not equal to the due date, then we put comma, then we say what? Not yet due. That is, the return date is not yet due. Then we we'll close the quotation as well. We you open quotation in front of it, not yet due. Make sure you put quotation, and you close your bracket, then you press enter. Can you see? Not yet due. And it's true. Look at it. This date is not equal to this date, so it is not yet due. Then we left click. And then we drag. So you see, the return date is due for this one. Can you see? So if I also make this one to be 12, if I make this date to be 12, you see, the return date is due. So if the once the return date is due, what do we do? Then we phone the student. We we'll call the student. Hello, George Mary, you are yet to return the book you borrowed from the library. Kindly do so on time before we publish your name to the faculty of because in like in my school they will publish names of students who have borrowed books and yet to return them you know it will look like an embarrassment so you can actually use excel to track all of that so guys if you are new to this channel and this is your first time watching any of my videos i would like you to go below this video and click the subscribe button so that when i release new videos like this you will be notified thank you and god bless you my name remains emmanuel your favorite excel expert thank you and god bless you see you in my next video